In the wild, white vultures are naturally selected out due to the sensitivity to UV radiation and their easy detection of predators. This rarity in the wild has made them a status symbol amongst humans, and as such, they're bred specifically for this trait. Horvath and his fellow researchers hypothesised that an advantage of white horses is that they're less attractive to tabinets, the blood-sucking horsefly. So during blood sucking, taverners transmit pathogens of serious diseases and can actually irritate a host animal so much that it's unable to graze, affecting its health. So taverners select their host using a variety of factors such as colour, heat, motion, shape and smell. So Horvath and his fellow researchers hypothesised that taverners are less attracted to white horses due to the lower levels of horizontal reflective light from white horses than darker horses. So to test this hypothesis, they conducted field observations and experiments using a variety of test surfaces such as living horses, test surfaces and uh, horse models with varying reflective polarisation characteristics. So during the field observations, they looked at tabernet attacks on living brown and white horses. They also conducted four experiments, first using matte white and brown cloth with half of each piece covered with a transparent plastic to make it appear shiny. The second experiment used the same as the first, but this time the, the sheet was covered with a transparent odorless glue that trapped the tabernets. The third experiment used five solid oil filled trays, white, light grey, medium grey, dark grey and black that trapped the tabernets. And the fourth experiment used three horse models, one white, brown and black. They're also covered with the sticky glue that trapped the tabernets. So uh, in both the experiments and the observations, the number of tabernets was collated and the reflective polarisation characteristics of each surface was measured. So the field observations found that although both horses' colours were attacked continuously by tabernets, on average the brown horse had 3.7 times more tabernets than the white horse. So the experiments also supported the hypothesis with experiment 1 and 2 finding that the tabernets were not attracted to the matte surfaces but instead the shiny surfaces with the brown more so than white. In the third experiment, the black tray collected 74.8% of all the tabernets and the dark grey 194 with the remainder between the three trays. In the fourth experiment, the horse models, the brown and black, actually trapped 15.2 and 25.5 times more tabernets respectively than the white horse. So these results support the hypothesis that the whiteness of a horse is an advantage in relation to attack, attacks by tabernets due to the lower levels of reflective polarisation. So this was conducted on horses, but perhaps it could be used across all host animals of tabernets and livestock, especially in areas where they can be greatly affected by tabernets.